What's going on, YouTube? Old Tom, Rambler 69. We're going to do a little quick mail call, and I'm going to show you what we've been doing here on the, what's been going on on the bench. And uh, first up, I'd like to thank everybody on my last video that went over and subbed to uh, Pine Needle Customs and welcomed him in the community and uh, showed him a lot of support. I know he's pretty happy with the subs that's come in. He's got quite a few now, and uh, I see he just put another video up. So uh, thank you to uh, everyone for, uh, for going over and supporting his channel, and uh, I do appreciate that. First up, my buddy Doug over Hensley Hobbies. Sent me a few of his cards. He sent me his uh, Socks and Martin that he did, which uh, that's really cool. And uh, he sent me a couple picks. Some catfish that he caught. That's a big old catfish, Doug. And uh, that's really cool. I think I can see what, uh, what Doug's other hobby is. He likes to go fishing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. that uh, that's a big old cat, too. Appreciate it, buddy. And uh, glad to hear that your mom's doing better. And... Uh, and uh, appreciate you sending the cards out, buddy. Next up, my buddy Big Steve over at Lakeside Scale Works. That's a cool looking car. Got the Earnhardt Wrangler car on there, and uh, that's really cool. Appreciate it, Steve. Appreciate all your support, buddy. And uh, we'll get your card up here on the wall. So, what we've been doing, I know some of y'all that uh, have been to Hobby Lobby. This kid here was marked down at $7.99 here recently. But I bought this kit when it first came out and paid well over $30 for it. But uh, I did pick a few more up at the ho at the lobby now that they're marked down. But uh, it's a 72 Top Fuel Drags. There's Tommy Kewen's Mongoose car. And uh, it's an MPC kit. It has a few parts in it that's been tooled up to try to make it accurate for Tom's car. But uh, the original kit which some of you may not know. Original kit is this kit. That is a reissue that came out last year by MPC with the vintage packaging. But that kit, that kit came out just like you see it in 1971 for Garlitz's first rear engine dragster Swamp Rat 14. So I built that car when I was a kid, just out of the package, just like this. And uh, it's a good kit. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, that's the car. That's uh, one I built when I was like 11, 12. I remember doing it. I can still remember doing those decals at the kitchen table. So uh, I'm glad to have a survivor. She's hanging in there. So uh, that's the original car that this uh, kit, like I said, that's 47 year old kit. And uh, some of you may know, like five years ago, uh, one of my first YouTube uh, videos, I redid the car. That's another one I've done. Uh, I can see stuff on it now that I could do better. But that's what it's all about. We do improve over the years. So uh, I'm going to do this car back here without the wing like you see it. Because when he originally run the car, California, it did not have the wing on it. So I'm going to do a version without the wing. But uh, what they've done is that is this car. These wing struts back here are some of the new tool parts to make it accurate for Tom's car. But these wing struts where they mount on the frame, if you look at, uh, they give you some nice picks. You can see the wing struts and you can see that you're just looking at the rear end housing here in the back. But on the Garlet's car, there was uh, frame pieces back there where his parachute mounted. The parachute mounts on the wing on this car I got to build a mount for it so we've gone ahead and we've cut those parts off the frame and we're just trying to make this a little more accurate for Tom's car just trying to do some of the stuff that's uh, on the Garlitz car that's not Garlitz did build him that chassis in 1972 so it was a Garlitz chassis but uh, we're just working on it and getting it into shape we got the decals and paint on the body that chassis has not been painted that's the kit plastic that will be getting painted but uh, decals come out good. We got one round of clear on them. We're, uh, we're going to be sanding them, getting some more clear on them. And uh, in case anybody does this, you tape these body, you tape the body from the inside with some tape to put that big Hot Wheels decal, let it dry, and then just take a razor knife and your uh, X-Acto and cut that, uh, 
decal so the body lifts off but uh, that's all you got to do to that that way everything's lined up correctly but uh, same up here in the front you just cut that so uh, we use some uh, to me a lacquer some blue metallic I think it come out really nice on the car but uh, we'll be working on that here a little bit later and uh, that's what we're working on doing a little tribute to Tom McEwen so uh, that's all we got I'm not gonna keep you long guys old Tom Rambler 69 right here